Dudley Moore was an iconic British actor and comedian who wowed audiences with his wit and charm in movies like Arthur and Ten. He was known for being short-statured but big on talent, and yet his personal life was an unending up-and-down roller coaster. He struggled through several failed marriages, the worst of which was his fourth and final marriage to Nicole Rothschild. And while there have been conflicting reports on what actually happened between them, it's clear there was abuse going on in the marriage. Join Facts First as we present Dudley Moore's spouse made his final years a misery. Dudley Moore's Contentious Fourth Marriage Dudley Moore's love life had as many ups and downs as his career, if not more. By the time he married Nicole Rothschild in 1994, he'd been in three tumultuous marriages that all ended in divorce. But when he met and had an extramarital affair with Nicole, he was at the peak of his career. Reportedly, Nicole got his attention by literally throwing herself onto the hood of his car and demanding an autograph. The ploy worked, as Dudley not only gave her the autograph, but began dating her. They soon became husband and wife. Nicole was 30 years younger than Dudley, and their relationship unsurprisingly raised more than a few eyebrows. It also became an obsession for the media and tabloids, as the two were photographed and written about heavily in both the US and UK. Their relationship was somewhat doomed from the start. This was evidenced by the fact that Dudley was arrested in 1994, shortly after their wedding, and charged with domestic assault. He reportedly physically assaulted Nicole in their house. One odd twist in their relationship that also happened right away was the fact that Nicole's ex-husband, Charles Cleveland, lived with the couple from the get-go. That can't have been very helpful when it came to solidifying their marriage bonds. In 1996, they had another fallout, and it looked to the public like the two might call it quits. But that winter, they were photographed at their house, looking happy and seemingly past their current marital issues. However, that was perhaps just a deceptive photo, because about six months later, Nicole sued Dudley for millions. She claimed he'd been abusive and a terror to her during their entire marriage, and he had issues with drugs and sex as well. She consulted with divorce attorneys and was in the process of filing for divorce from Dudley. But in 1998, she decided to pull the plug on this divorce filing because she learned Dudley had been diagnosed with a terminal illness. Not wanting to pour salt in his wounds, she decided to just remain his wife until he passed. While this might have been a nice gesture on her part, Moore certainly didn't see it that way. He left a clause in his will that forbade Nicole from attending his funeral. Dudley was generous with his money. Moore apparently spent a fortune on Nicole in the early days of their marriage, trying to keep her happy. Of course, this wouldn't condone any abuse towards her, but at least it shows he was trying to make things work at some level early on. He apparently lavished her with gifts, including breast implants, for thousands of dollars. And as we mentioned, he allowed her ex, Charles, to live with them. In fact, he bought a house adjacent to his mansion for Charles and the kids he shared with Nicole. But Charles was reportedly a huge liability from the get-go. He was a drug addict who committed crimes to pay for his habit. Dudley was forced to pay his bail on several occasions. He also reportedly paid Charles to hang out with his own kids. And when Charles eventually was diagnosed with AIDS, Dudley paid for his medical care. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Moore's death in 1997, Moore found out he had damage to the frontal lobe of his brain that was irreversible. Later that year, he underwent quadruple bypass surgery on his heart and had several strokes as well. His health was rapidly deteriorating, and little could be done to stop it. Then, in late 1999, he was diagnosed with progressive supranuclear palsy, a syndrome which causes symptoms very similar to Parkinson's. It also gives sufferers symptoms where it seems like they are drunk when they're fully sober. Moore struggled through his last few years, trying to live out his end days as best he could. He finally died of pneumonia, which was caused by his disease. He was 66 and died March 27, 2002, in New Jersey. Nicole's tell-all got nixed. Seven years after Dudley died, it was revealed Nicole was planning to publish a tell-all memoir about her time with the diminutive star. Their tumultuous marriage had been tabloid fodder for years, so it was assumed people would be excited to hear about the inner details of their life together. Reportedly, the book contained some juicy details about Moore and how he led a fairly depraved existence before being diagnosed with terminal illness. In the rough draft of Nicole's book, she made some pretty harsh accusations about Moore's behavior, saying he was addicted to smoking crystal meth from the onset of their marriage and that this made his behavior erratic and sent his libido skyrocketing. Nicole claimed that when Moore was high, he would demand that she dance naked for him for hours on end. She said that only after she had grown too tired to dance would he let her stop, and then he would order prostitutes to come in to replace her. However, after pressure from friends of Moore, perhaps because they threatened to expose Nicole's behavior towards Moore, Nicole ultimately decided not to release the book. 
Dudley's friends say Nicole was the terrible one. When the manuscript for Nicole's book was leaked, friends and co-workers of Moore's immediately sprang to his defense. Those who knew him best painted a much different picture of the marriage than the one Nicole was about to sell in her book. According to many sources, Nicole was actually the one doing the terrorizing in their relationship. Apparently, she was consistently violent towards Dudley and smashed up all the items in his mansion that were made of glass. She reportedly smoked crack and would become violent while high. A woman named Barbara Paskin oddly was a victim of Nicole's violent tendencies. She was a one-time correspondent for the BBC who was writing a biography of Dudley, so she ended up spending a lot of time at their mansion and got to witness Nicole's erratic and bizarre behavior firsthand. Nicole became convinced Paskin was having an affair with Dudley and violently attacked her. According to Paskin, the attack was so vicious it took several security guards just to pull Nicole off. When she later asked Dudley how Nicole was so strong, he told Paskin it was because she had been smoking a lot of crack and was still coming down off of a major high. The attack on Paskin was so terrible, she wasn't able to work for half a year. Paskin noted that before the attack, when she would walk into their house, she'd have a hard time making it down the hall because there was so much smashed glass on the floor from Nicole's demented behavior. She likened it to walking into a bomb site. Ren Fruchter was a concert pianist who ended up taking care of Dudley over the course of his final years. She was present when Nicole attacked Paskin and was horrified. She later said Nicole turned to her after she attacked Paskin, saying she would get her next. Fruchter also had a different take on Nicole's claims of Dudley requiring prostitutes. She said Moore told her Nicole was actually the one calling the prostitutes in to dance for him. Moore reportedly said he wouldn't share a bed with the prostitutes, but that even so, Nicole would constantly threaten to tell the media about them whenever she and Moore got into a fight. Fruchter claimed Moore wanted to end his own life, saying his life was a living hell because his wife was insane. Now it's time to hear from you. Who do you think was more to blame when it came to the terrible marriage of Nicole and Dudley? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Factsverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So, if you want exclusive Exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99.